Ready! <coughs> First horse race. Oh shoot. Get it up. Start. Let's see what you're made of. Got the year. Checkpoints in a racing game anyway. It's a goddamn fantasy epic. Why the fuck are there checkpoints in a fucking horse race? Ugh. Acknowledge it, Witcher. I'm the superior rider. I'll acknowledge your roach proved faster. Congratulations. Ah, look. Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. Right. Thanks. I should be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city today. Yep, she goes to Molly. And we gotta talk to you. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? <laughs> That Geralt! The one Dandelions rescued time and time again! <laughs> he lied. Yeah, he lied and didn't actually rescue him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just go with the lies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his ah. songs. How he tamed the Karen by playing his loot? I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring. But, <laughs> or maybe is it? You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him myself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, <clears throat> and good luck to you on your search. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that guy. Where'd he go? 
Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my brother came back from the market for news. Hey. Ah, Geralt! What can I do? Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've not... You know a lot. I must. I am my father's... What's your father got to do with this? Um... He is close to the Emperor, and no... But, as is known... Farewell. Oh. Oh. Quest. What shall I whip up for supper? And here! And here! And here! And here! And here! And here! Here it is. Oh. Haunted horse? A haunted house? Witcher. you want the new cook Rosavar Atra is expecting me supposed to give her lessons in swordplay come with me Miss Rosa awaits Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You learn the ambassador's ire. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> Follow me. Instructor. Well, well, Papa 
Father clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. <laughs> well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly, but we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but <clears throat> not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. birds whispering about you asked about my relationship with dandelion well here's the mix-ups mastermind edna var Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the yoruga wait a minute you mean to say dandelion mixed you two up on occasion yes but then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? <coughs> Afraid I've more sense than that. Who <coughs> did Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trabaric. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? <coughs> mm. I seem to remember him praising her. <coughs> M makes sense. <coughs> He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kuvi. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? 
strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if you turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. <coughs> Died recently. He apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? <coughs> Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Mr. So and so, had you found? This game is pretty interesting. With this very long quest line. slander to my face readily you are a mutant a freak a take a for a relic i'm pretty darn good with a sword or a cut where you bleed to death before you hit the ground run out of things to say good preachers fierce in the mouth Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the end. Why would a witcher... Venture to say a mage would have. Sure, you know me that well. Mark, but we're about to talk about Gandila. So, how'd you do? Learn much? You first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much of it. He wasn't staying with any of them. Mm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? <laughs> 
Let's how about it. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this was? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kellanetta or something like that. Ah, uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. <laughs> Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Mm. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxy. Never there in town. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. How? Oh. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> Be gone. Ah, damn it. Take it, man. Yeah. Oh, and then we all have the black woods. Eternal fire, why me? Now you. Poetry, apparently. <laughs> ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse lists. Should start soon.
this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. <coughs> I wish to listen to music. Music! Ah! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. <laughs> Permit me to introduce uh, uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Caladetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelions told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. I, I not here. Come with me. Ah. Mm. There a reason for all this sneaking around? <laughs> An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy <laughs> Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution <laughs> into it. It'd be in deep then. Hmm. Hmm. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. <laughs> He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. 
Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. <laughs> Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. <laughs> He's a dangerous character. <laughs> so am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. <laughs> Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Hey, hey. Back to the rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And I suppose we'll have to see if our war plan will go. I suppose there is no more hope for the accused sort. Never. It, it's a what? Where? Uh, wow, now. It's over there. Oh, great. This place. Anybody there? Open up. <laughs> the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. I do. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. <coughs> the meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Son Junior is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. 
Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? Oh. Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Ooh, got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Uh, uh oh. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Sorry for that incident. My security failed. <laughs> I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. <laughs> That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. <laughs> who pranced in right before the attack. <laughs> Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him follow, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first. I need to find Horson. Now it looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Jerry's <coughs> good at hiding. He's got peasant smile. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. <laughs> right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. 
Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? <coughs> well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the... Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Gambling. That's his big earner. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme. Suppose you could always search up. Arena sounds promising. Where's sewers beneath? Now, Junior. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle. <coughs> Where's Junior's near the post? See if I can't find Horson at the casino. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling... Come, Garrup, what do you think's happened to him? <laughs> I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own man. Loot. As far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. <coughs> you wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. <coughs> Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an... <coughs> I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Not again, Bart. Ah, stop that now. Oh, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky. Bart, less. don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. 
And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. By God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made up with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. On all ears. Ow. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. <laughs> You're a regular fucking <laughs> Mr. Sleuth. <laughs> and you'll oh. know. But I am wondering, for instance. Oh no. Oh. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Yes. Bart. Not talking to you, dimwit. Bart, you see them? Now, now. <laughs> Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after... What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. <laughs> Told him, Fons, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty boat. Hey, what? Got a minute? Maybe. I mean, a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. Want Siggy you like? Talk me with. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. He locked you up, alone, underground. When but <coughs> What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks. <laughs> ah, thanks for your help. Mm. No. No. Yeah. 
bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote. Thank you. Coaches at. It's great. Explosion crumpled in like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. of it. Could be the current swept them away. Oh, <laughs> 
the fuck, man? Come on.